Hi there, this is Ani. Welcome to my art community. Please join me to paint the new Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid has always been my favorite Disney movie, and probably one of my favorite movies of all time. The story of Ariel and her journey to achieve her dreams has inspired me so much through my entire life. So I decided to make an oil painting to celebrate that legacy. I'm going to be using a 16 plus 20 inches size canvas. Let's start getting the canvas ready with some gesso. We are so close to the premiere of the new live action version of The Little Mermaid. I can't express how excited I am about this new movie, so my painting will be inspired by one of the promo covers of this new release. I always start by making studies of my painting digitally to define what I want to capture. Then I will practice a little bit drawing on paper before moving on to the proper sketch for my canvas. I really like the new design of Ariel's tail and I certainly had so much fun drawing it. I can't wait for the painting process to arrive. The story of The Little Mermaid has inspired so many generations since its first release by Hans Christian Andersen in 1837. But without a doubt, Disney's take on the fairy tale with the animated 1989 movie has made Ariel and her friends some forever beloved characters. After my sketch is done, I will cover my canvas again with some colored gesso to get rid of the white surface. I do this by mixing the gesso with a little bit of acrylic painting. Remember, you can use acrylic painting before using oil painting, but never after. Having the sketch already under the gesso helps me as guidance to draw with the oil paint. I will use very thin paint for this very first sketch, as well as for the pre-painting. Now it's time to find the right colors. Going in an under the sea adventure with this painting makes me so happy. I was raised by the ocean in a city called the Valparaíso, by the coast of Chile. When I was a child, I used to dream I had a mermaid's tail myself so I could be swimming endlessly on the sea. I'm gonna try my best to capture the beautiful colors of the underwater world. Now it's time to do the pre-paint or underpainting process. For this, I will follow my previous digital study of color, where I already work on the values for my painting. When I was a kid, I used to watch The Little Mermaid every day. I was so obsessed and mesmerized by it that my mom had to hide it from me, so we could finally watch something different. Then she got me Pocahontas, and that was my next obsession. But anyway, the story of Ariel and her desire to discover this new world will be my day-to-day -day company, and it will become such an important part of my personal life. There has been a lot of excitement and also controversy since Disney announced the release of the new live action The Little Mermaid. I feel like I've been waiting for this movie for so long and we are finally close. This painting is being made one month before the new movie release, just to give you a context. After the underpainting is done, it is time to finally start the proper paint. I will start with the rocks and the water, playing with the different blues and its different values, dreaming to be part of Ariel's world. Going to the ocean has always been an intimate moment for me. It plays such an important part through my childhood and in fact, I spent more than three years sailing as an adult while working on board a cruise ship, funny enough, a Disney Cruise Line ship where I shared many moments with Ariel herself. <laughs> Living in a big boat, moving around in the middle of the ocean is such an incredible experience, something I will never forget. Our new Ariel is being played by the talented Halle Bailey. I'm sure you are aware of all the drama and controversy about her casting just because of her race. Now it's time for me to find the right color palette to paint her skin. When the choice of casting Holly was announced, I admit, I was surely surprised. I was expecting Disney to cast someone that looked just like the character from the animated version, since that was the fashion in the previous Princesses live-action movies. So this new take was really unexpected, 
but there was something so excited about having a new, completely original and different Ariel. I have been a big fan of Princess Ariel all my life, and some of my friends asked me why I was not upset about the fact that this new Ariel looked so different. Well, she looks so beautiful, I thought. She is so beautiful. Of course I was not upset. If I, an Hispanic little brown kid, back then was able to see myself in white, red-headed Ariel, if I was able to dream as a child mermaid, to live through her dilemma, to experience her emotions, of course I will be able to feel them again with Holly. Through this, I am so excited about our new Ariel. She has made such an impact for me as an adult, and I am happy to be painting her gorgeous skin right now. Knowing how much it will mean to a whole new generation of people, dreamers, and mere people around the world. I am happy they stayed true to Holly's hairstyle because it represents part of who she is and what this new design of Ariel is trying to portray with honesty. Now it's time to find some colors for it. I am definitely trying to capture the mixture of browns, oranges, and glimpses of red here with some good use of light even under the sea. Now the moment I've been waiting for the most to paint her beautiful mermaid tail. When I was a kid, they used to make us draw ourselves and our families at school. I remember drawing myself with a mermaid tail and my best friend, a dolphin. <laughs> no wonder I'm here painting mermaids years later. I've decided that my next painting will be a self-portrait of me as mere people to achieve my fantasies through my art, so keep an eye for that video coming soon. The Little Mermaid is a story of change, dreams, and transformation. Ariel always felt she was meant to be part of something different. Her curiosity was calling and introducing her to new wonders. She had the courage to change her body, to take a risk and adventure an unknown world. Fairy tales can teach us and show us life in an interesting way. Many of us can see different things and connect with them according to our own experiences. Ariel's body transformation can absolutely make us more aware and understanding of trans stories, for example. Maybe an impossible love, or maybe just the dream to achieve something that seems impossible. The fact that she has to leave her family behind to find herself somewhere else is such a close experience to many of us. As a person that has immigrated alone twice, I can certainly connect with the difficulty of leaving everything you know with the hope to find something better for you, to be a part of that world. And like that, I believe this painting is finished. I always try to stay true to the nature of all paintings and make sure my work looks like a painting rather than a picture. The picture already exists, so if you are an artist, please remember you can create more than what you think. I feel very happy and even a little emotional I have to say. This is such a special story and to be able to connect with it through my art really is a blessing. Now I believe we have a little date with the cinema. Alright, it's finally the time. Thank you for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video and painting process. If you did, please let me know in the comments, this is a new channel and I appreciate all feedback. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel, that really helps, making YouTube things I do good stuff. If you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, you can visit my website. There you can get some prints of this painting if you want to and wander around. I will leave the link in the description. Once again, thank you so much for your company. I appreciate you. Take care and hopefully I'll see you soon in another project of this art community.